These roads are winding like crazy. I'm so dizzy right now. I'm real glad I'm not hungover. This is the first time I'm on this road, which is pretty exciting for me. But I'm also about to puke. going to the next state so usually when I enter a state for the first time I assume it's super conservative which is not always the case but I'm kind of defensive for a while I was debating bringing someone with me like I really would feel so much better if somebody was with me on this on this leg of the trip but I also don't think I would have been able to feel the emotional connection of of this specific journey I'm heading somewhere that I've been wanting to go for a very long time not because it's a fun place to be, but because it's such a big part of the LGBTQ history and where we are today. This is more of a pilgrimage than an adventure like the rest of my trips have been. Much more on the spiritual and emotional side because today I'm going to Laramie, Wyoming. Laramie is famous for the brutal murder of Matthew Shepard. Matthew was a gay kid, 20 or 19 years old, and in 98, he was at a bar where two guys pretended to be gay and basically lured him out into a field where they proceeded to beat him nearly to death and let him bleed out for 10 hours in freezing cold temperature as he was tied to a fence. He died a few days later in a coma at a hospital. That was an incredibly significant and tragic moment in our history. There's a really tiny memorial for him at the University of Wyoming. And then after that, I'm going to hopefully check out the exact site where the murder happened. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to see it because it might be on private property. It was kind of hard to look up. Obviously, the town wants to erase that memory. They've even petitioned to change the road names so people like me traveling to visit it don't come. Of course, nobody wants the murder of a kid as their city's history, but that's what happened. And if we don't acknowledge it, if they don't acknowledge it, what's gonna change? I feel like some of my videos lately have been a little on the darker side. That's unfortunately the LGBTQ history. And it's a lot of our present as well. It would be a disservice to not bring some of these subjects to light. And to just focus on the fun and the bars and, and the happy drag queens and things. We have such a rich history, both good and bad. And everything is proved to how we can persevere and get through things and make some change. I just feel like I need to go, I need to see. Because it could have been, it could have been me. It could have been my friends. It could have been any one of us just brutally murdered for, for being who we are. And I try to imagine what Matthew Shepard, what was going through his mind, what, how he was dealing with what happened in that moment. Like, it makes me shake. It makes me so scared. There have been bad situations that I found myself in or that I've seen my friends get into or I've heard from them or I've had to pick them up from really situations. It's a really small memorial, but you know, it's better than nothing. Oh man. That's 
overwhelming. It's, it's a crazy thought to think. You know, you wish that there's more, but this is the way we got. And it, it feels, I wish I didn't, I wish I wasn't sitting here, but it, it feels good to be able to sit here and, and mourn, basically. And it looks like some people have left some things here. So, so that we know we're not alone. I was gonna go to the spot where he was murdered, but I don't, I don't think I should. I don't wanna remember him for, for that. I'd rather remember him for being someone, a part of the LGBTQ community that went to this school and now this bench kind of re represents for anyone that's any LGBTQ person in this small town, it represents that they're not alone. Being here in Laramie at the University of Wyoming, it, it doesn't feel as dark as I thought it would feel. I was just walking by this old man. He waved at me. You know, I didn't feel, I didn't feel judged about tattoos or piercings or anything. Like, it's, it's weird that something, a gesture as simple as just waving, just, it makes you feel human. So maybe this city isn't dark. Maybe something dark happened. Maybe there were some people, to say the least. But I think to judge a city purely based on an event, despite it being a massive event that changed the entire country, I think it's unfair to judge because if you judge, it doesn't give them an opportunity to change. And if you think, oh, I'm never going there because this happened, then, then the city stays the same. We have to not judge things just like we don't want to be judged. And I think that's the most important thing that I've been learning on this trip. I wish that every LGBTQ person before us could see what their impact was on our world. I wish they can see the progress that we've made and the change that's happening. There's still a really long way to go, but we're getting there together.